We got the Hoffman front carbon fender right here. This thing is beautiful. One hour later. The back part right here was rubbing against the wheel. We called Hoffman. We're just gonna try to maybe do it ourselves right now and just try to file it away so it can fit properly. So what we can do now is we can rock the fender this way or this way. That's a lot, man. Yeah, that's all. It's a quarter of the hole. Expensive carbon fiber fender. Lock tight on? Yeah. No. Okay. These are all tight. Is it tight? Lock tight is. with another video. We're gonna be doing an install video on this beautiful 2023 Harley Davidson CDO. We got the Hoffman front carbon fender right here. This thing is beautiful. Super, super light. I wanna, I wanna feel it compared to the, the stock one because this, this, this just feels like a feather. Um, so we're gonna be installing this carbon fender on LD's bike today. We're gonna be installing some more carbon parts pretty soon on my bike. Uh, my Rogue Glide, um, not Hoffman, it's uh, another brand, so once we get all that sorted out, gonna give you guys all the information, do some install videos, gonna be great, um, but this 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 thing is gonna, is gonna look sick, man. Um, you already got the Screaming Eagle and Old suspension installed in the back, so for those of you guys who have been wondering what parts are, you know, you're able to intermingle from the old Rogue Glide to this one, the suspension fits on there, um, and, and, and it works just as good. He just did some chrome work slip-ons as well, so we'll turn the bike on, we'll let you guys hear that. They're just slip-ons, they're not a full exhaust system, so it's not gonna give you that, that full thunder feeling, but they do sound great. Compared to stock, like not having anything, it sounds great, he was rolling down, and I was like, well, it sounds like Harley Davidson now. This is a pretty simple install today, guys. All we need to do is take off these four screws right here. Um, the stock fender pops out. Um, Hoffman sends you the hardware, because we're not gonna be using the OEM hardware. So I send you these blocks, some washers, some screws, and um, easy, easy as that. So like, so if you can assist me right there, sir, hold it right there. Assisted. Don't get the block, you're assisted. <laughs> Give me some uh, blue lactate. Mm -hmm. okay. Hey, daddy. Oh. Still up. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's not fucking lining up, bro. You want to use the OEM shit? Because Hoffman's junk. Hoffman's junk. What's up? It's there. Yes, it's off. It's off, yeah. Yeah, it's off. That's the only thing. That's it. But this is the thing. Like I was showing them. Are they like, both? Are they the same? If you do it like this. One hour later. In every pack, in every group, you need a Spaniard to save the day. Here, here comes the conquistador again. <laughs> All right, so we were having trouble because one thing we noticed, I'm like, nothing's like lining up. It's, it's just weird. So, on on the block, where's the other block at? The block is offset, so you're gonna have two holes on this side, two holes on the other side, and they're both offset. So what we figured out is that you gotta um, put the smaller screws, because it comes with eight screws. So the smaller screws in the back on the inside of the fender, screw that on the block onto here um, with the washers. And then you have, you're gonna have the block on the fender already installed. And now you're gonna put it on, and then this screw is, is, gonna, is gonna be able to align. The aligning was in aligning. <laughs> you went from two men in a van to three men in a van. <laughs> Alright, so we, we ran on a little issue. We, we've literally been here for like about an hour trying to figure something out. Because as soon as we tighten up all the four screws, the, the whole fender was just uh, tilting a certain way and it's twisted. So it was 
the back part right here was rubbing against the wheel. We called Hoffman, they gave us some information that maybe one of the holes just might not be aligned. Aligned. So um, we're just gonna try to maybe do it ourselves right now and just try to file it away. Yeah, so we're gonna try to do that right now. We're gonna shoot over to Mike's real quick so we can file it up and then put it on, see if it works. So hang on. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we made it over to the Tour Custom Cycle Shop. Got the fender here, got the bike. Um, like I said before, we, we did make a phone call out to Hoffman. They said that it could be one of the holes here that's just offset and even from looking at it right now, we could tell which one it is already. Um, but what Mike recommended was to put the blocks on the, um, on the wheel right here and then what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna mark it off. I mean, we shouldn't be doing this, but it's, it is what it is. Um, we're gonna mark it off just to make sure that everything sits and, and it's supposed to be where it's at, correctly aligned. Um, hopefully that, that, that fixes the issue and then we don't gotta send this, this thing out and wait another week or so to install it. So when you're impatient, you do this. Right, Daddy? That's right. <laughs> you see, that's class. That is classy. Wait, here, here, here. You know, bought the bike over here to get worked on. Got espresso. That's classy. Mmm. Ryan, that's good. That's a good espresso, man. You're, you're a good barista. Thank you. <laughs> you know I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna get this espresso? 10 out of 10. I didn't even show you guys Joe's bike. Joe was just here getting his bike serviced. Hey, Cat. Cat, you got a duck? Who gave you that? He didn't give me that, right? I got it. That's awesome. That's so that is a cool duck. That, 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 be, that beats his duck. Oh. Where'd you get that at? Uh, <laughs> no, where'd you get that? I want one. <laughs> I got him one with a cowboy hat. It's way smaller than mine. God damn it, I want one of those. Stay <laughs> hydrated. And then there were two. You want an espresso, man? Yes, definitely. So what I did was we mounted the blocks, mounted the front screws in here. So what we can do now is we can rock the fender this way or this way. We're gonna pick the position that it looks the best. We're gonna mark the back and drill the holes. Can go up. <laughs> well, no, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm going from here to here. That's too low. That way. We're gonna go. What do you think? You want to bring it? Right, let's go with this. Perfect. Yeah. How's the back? The back's fine. There's, plenty, there's more room in the back than the front. That's oh, why so I'm that's saying. perfect. Yeah. You think that's good? Yeah, that looks good right there. Okay. Do a little finger test. <laughs> how, many, how many fingers does, does, uh, does it take to fill you in? Hey! Can we show them how offset that hole is? That's a lot, man. Yeah. That's all. It's a quarter of the hole. This is going to be a great video now. Are you happy now that, that your fender's gonna work? Your expensive carbon fiber fender? Lock tight on them? Yeah. No. Okay. Comments. These are all tight. This is tight. Mm -hmm. Lock tight is. Yep. Don't be like Pablo. I am. Yo, what's up with these gloves? I can finish off the uh, the video. Where's the purple ones? Only red? Come on. Come on. Ooh, look, look, look at this. It, it, look, it looks good already, bro. That's what we they said. said last time. That's what we said. Last time. <laughs> Until we tie it up. It gets up. bigger, babe. Just watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? That's it. No rubbing. You guys hide either, right? No it's rubbing, no tugging. This is straight, too. It was the hole. There it goes. Sometimes custom pieces need custom modifications. What is it? What? Is it? <laughs> I said sometimes custom pieces need a little custom modification. That's it. All right, guys, we, we obviously couldn't have done this without my, my guy over here, Mike at Tour Custom Cycle Shop. So if you guys need to get some little, some little even some little work done like that, just stop by, because I mean, I, yeah, we, we weren't going to do it at my house. It's not for free.
Yep, and it's Definitely not, not. And it's not for free. Huh? You happy now? Can we take these off? Huh? Are you happy I'm now? You gotta be happy now, dude. No, I'm, a, I'm happy, but I'm He's mad. Like this. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can you tell? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm glad that it's on, but it's just like... Get it? Come on, go. That little just, tedious shit just got me tight. Get on your bike so you can see how good you're going to look on there, man. 120th anniversary t-shirt with your 120th anniversary Harley Davidson. My 121. Looks good, bro. That thing looks clean on there. No, it looks, it looks perfect. Hey! If it isn't that random guy in the video. Yeah. Hey, Willie. You know what I like about this? The car at the bottom. Yeah. So, my boy. So the Fender looks really good. Um, I mean, Hoffman makes a great product, but this one, it might have just been a bad one out of the bunch, who knows? But I mean, we fixed it, it's on now. Um, he didn't want to send it back and wait another week or two for them just to do that. We could have just done it here. So if you guys do, for some reason, come across or run across this issue, now you know what to do. Um, and that's it, man. But pretty simple install if it wasn't for this. Anyways, if you want to see more content like this, definitely in the right place. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's what I'll notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And if you are looking to get some work done and you are in the local area, New York, Jersey, come hit up Tour Custom Cycle Shop, hit up Mike, give him a call. I'm going to be linking all the description down below. You guys can hit him up. That's it. We're going to get out of here because it looks like it's going to pour.